It's Wednesday, and that means I'm back to cover the new horror comics coming out in comic book stores this Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below, share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out This Week in Horror Comics, February 2nd, 2022. Digger number four is from Action Lab Comics. The story is by Adrian Speckert, with art by Corey Todd Hughes. A band of grave diggers take on all sorts of supernatural horrors in this indie horror series. This time around, the gang takes on zombie Vikings. Yar, in for a good time, I'm sure, with this one. Heavy Metal Drummer, number one, is from Behemoth Comics. The story is by Kiefer Findlow, with art by Luca Vassalo. This is your typical end-of-the-world scenario with the fate of the world in the hands of a drug-addicted, head-banging drummer for a metal band. It's set in the late 80s, a time I'm quite familiar with and fond of, so you'd better believe I'll be throwing up the devil horns and checking this one out. Hell Sonia, number two, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Christopher Hastings, with art by Pascal Qualano. Every time I read the title of this series, I adopt a Martin Lawrence voice and scream, Hail Sonia! Red Sonia is dead. Long live Hell Sonia as she cuts a jagged swath across hell and beyond with her sword, chainmail armor, and of course, plenty of covers featuring ass, titties, ass and titties, ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. Human Remains number 5 is from Vault Comics. The story is by Peter Milligan, with art by Sally Cantirino. I don't know much about this monster series, but it's written by the amazing Peter Milligan, who has penned some of the best horror in comics. This one has to do with monsters only some people can see. While it seems familiar to Something is Killing the Children, I'm sure Milligan will be putting his own unique stamp on the subject matter. Serial number 10 is from Abstract Studio. The story and art are by Terry Moore. Issue 10 wraps up this series as the psychopathic serial killer hunter, Zoe, takes on someone who is just as heartless and soulless as she is. This is a confrontation of psychopathic proportions that this whole amazing series has been leading up to. Nita Hawes' Nightmare Blog number 4 is from Image Comics. The story is by Rodney Barnes, with art by Well B. A big bad from Philadelphia makes its way over to Nightmare Blog to cause all kinds of problems for our paranormal investigator. I've just started reading Philadelphia, and Rodney Barnes is delivering the goods. Looking forward to reading some more of his work in both Philadelphia and this spin-off, Nita Hawes' Nightmare Blog. The Walking Dead, number 32, is from Image Comics. The story is by Robert Kirkman, with art by Charlie Adler. The survivors are still attempting to get the hell out of Woodbury, while Michonne takes care of unfinished business in this new colorized version of the classic zombie series. If you missed it the first time around, check it out here in full gory color. Finally, we have Alien number 9 from Marvel Comics. The story is by Philip Kennedy Johnson, with art by Salvador La Roca. The xenomorphs descend upon an alien farming plantation, putting the peaceful community in absolute chaos. Look for rural horror, alien styly, from this rock-solid team of Johnson and La Roca. Any of these new comics interest you? It's only a short bit of horror that was doled out this week but I'll be definitely checking out Aliens and Serial, and I'm going to take a chance on Heavy Metal Drummer. How's about you? Let me know which ones you're looking forward to reading down in the comments. Stuck inside your reality, your 